Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing data, central tendency stuff, specifically mean, medium mode, uh, using a TI-84+. Plus. So I have my data set there, the 7, 4, 6, 8 thing, and uh, I'm going to go in and just make it happen. Now, when you have one set of data like this, you want to just punch it in as a list. In order to edit a list, you go to the Stat button. So go in, and then uh, under the Edit menu, just click Enter for number one. I've already typed it in. So it should be, you don't have to put it in order before you type it in. In fact, uh, in the edit menu that I was just on, it has uh, sort A, which is sort ascending, so the numbers go from smallest to greatest, or sort D, which is sort descending, so it goes down. So you could deal with that later. But for right now, the biggest thing is once you type them in, and you'll just type the number in, hit enter, it'll take you to the next one. Go down to the bottom one. Uh, the last time you hit enter, it'll fall below the numbers. Click back up. Uh, just to see this number right here. It says L1, which means list 1, and in parentheses it has 10, which means there's 10 values in list 1. So you count up your values, and there are 10 of them, so you know that you have the right number in there. You might want to, you know, just be thorough to go back and check, whatever. Anyway, now that I've typed it in, I need to quit out of the edit menu, so I'm just going to hit second and quit to get back to the, the main screen. From here, I'm going to go and uh, just do some math with the... Uh, the data that I've put in the list. So hit stat again. Sorry, I'm going to do specific things, so I need to hit second in list. If you're working with numbers in the list, and you're not just doing some sort of generic regression or whatever, you'll need to hit second list. That's where you pick the list, and it's also where you do some of the, you know, operations and math using the list. So the math menu has mean, median, and uh, uh, it'll give you standard deviation, it'll give you a minimum value, a maximum value, all that's there. You know, not a huge big deal. So anyway, I want to know the mean. So I'm going to hit mean, and then I need to go pick the list that it comes from. So here's that list. And you get 6. If I want to know what the median value is, oops, second list. I need to go over to the median here. So I'll do second list again. I'll choose list one. And there it is. Now to find the mode, and I think I already found the median. Let me make sure. Yeah, I did. Okay. To find the mode in older versions, or uh, like the TI-73+, Plus, which is the middle school version, uh, there's actually a mode button that you can, it'll do it for you. In the TI-84+, Plus, they assume that you can count. So the best you can hope for is organizing your list and then just finding the one that happens the most. So what you're going to do is go in and uh, go to uh, second list so you can fiddle with your list again. You could do this from the edit menu too. So hit OPS says sort A, which means sort ascending. And then you'll want to go second list again and pick L1 and hit enter. It just is done. It doesn't give you the information. Now you can look at your list. So I just hit here and go to your edit. And you just count the one that happens the most, so in this case four. But uh, in old some versions of calculators, there's actually a setup that will give you the mode, but in this case just kind of find the one that happens the most and you know, that's it. So, done.